Sun is a very important planet. One of the most important planets in astrology. In Naisargik Bal, Sun is the most powerful planet. Which also hints that if the Sun is well positioned in horoscope, all other planets automatically give good results. In this particular regard, if you read Aditya Stotram, it is also told that Sun controls all the planets, Sun is the ruler of all the planets. This is the particular reason it is told that if the Sun is afflicted in horoscope, all the Raj Yogas are destroyed, though not completely true. But it is trying to say the same point that Sun is very, very important. So, a powerful son, a beneficial son will make sure that the person succeeds against all odds in life. And secondarily, it also indicates that if the son is remedied, all other planets also automatically starts giving good result. So in this karma correction, we will today learn about how to remedy son in different, different houses with small, small things that you can put into your day to day practice. And by putting these things into your day-to-day -day practices over a time of period, say one year or more than one year, you will see that good result of sun have started coming into your life and things have considerably improved. Right? Starting with the first house, if there is sun is in the ascendant, one should rise up early in the morning. Should make a you know day schedule, day plan beforehand and should work according to it. You should always have a plan. Don't do things spontaneously, right? What you are going to say today, what you are going to do, you know, what you are going to do today, how you are going to execute things. You should have a plan for it. Whenever possible, feed to birds. Listening to music. I'm talking about music, not songs. Listening to music as a therapy should be done. Listen to music at least for one, one and a half hour per day. Vitamin and mineral supplements after proper consulting from the doctor or someone who deals with nutrition should be done. And if with sun in the ascendant, I think you should have some book, some spiritual book always by your bedside. And whenever it is possible, try to, uh, you know, like after waking up in the morning for, you know, like half, half an hour or one hour, try to read some something right before doing anything in the day. That will be the best thing. One of the greatest remedy that I recommend, like if someone is not having a very good hand, if there are many small lines on the hand or hand is having some darker complexion from the sides or multiple small lines are there, it indicates uh, confusion in life. And to save yourself from it, right, to make your hand lines more clear and have more clarity, etc. in life, what you should do first is you should wake up in the morning, rub your hands together like this till it warms up. Then put it over your face like this. Then look at it and say, Karagre Vaste Lakshmi Karmadhyay Saraswati Karmulitu Govinda Prabharte Karatrashana. After this, again, rub it till it gets hot and touch over your face. This is a very good remedy. Should be done early in the morning and this particular remedy like this is a general remedy for, you know, overall prosperity, well-being and any bad influences that are there in the horoscope. If you do this remedy cons continuously, then it will be alleviated. I am very certain about it. Right. Along with that, just after waking up, before even you keep your feet at the ground, if you chant any mantra, that mantra becomes thousand times more powerful. So this can also be done. After this Karagre Vaste Lakshmi Karmadhyay Saraswati Karmuli Tu Govinda Pravate Karadarshanam You can also chant Samudra Vasne Devi Pravasna Mandre Vishnu Patri Navastubhyam Padas Prasam Chamasume This particular mantra is seeking forgiveness from the Mother Goddess Earth for uh, this particular fact that we are putting weight over her by walking over Earth. This small practice that I have told you if done every day morning after waking up consistently for one year and more time, I have seen the lives of people, the mentality of people, the thinking of people have considerably changed and improved. So this is a general remedy that can be done by all. Other than that, the remedy for sun in the sixth house, sorry, sun in the ascendant, I have already told you. 
Now, if you have sun in the second house, you should chant Gayatri Mantra. You should donate to governmental funds, aids that government aid that government is, you know, putting for public. You should offer red flower, red clothes, red sweets, etc. to DTs, any DT that you like, any DT who is your Ishtadevda. You should try to eat hot and fresh food. You should try to regularly donate to religious organizations and contribute to HOMA like some organizations such as Arya Samaj, etc. generally participate, generally organize HOMA on a regular basis, try to donate to them. And whenever possible, donate to blind people or organizations dealing with blind organizations trying to help blind people if you are having sun in the third house then feeding to birds will be very good along with that donating to organizations working with animal shelter animal rescue treating diseases related to animals will be very good you should keep your anger under control you should consume fruit with every meal you should listen to music not songs as a therapy for one one and a half hours every day and Taking bribes and favors to do something should be avoided under all cost. If there is sun in the fourth house, then you should try to help refugees and homeless people, people who are looking for shelter. If you use your contacts to, you know, get someone a rented home or some place of residence, that will be very good for you. If possible, live away from birthplace. If not possible, then try to go on a vacation or somewhere away from your uh, birthplace at least once a month. Use more of wood and wooden furniture, etc. in your home. Wooden furniture, wooden artifacts using in home, it will be good. Woolen articles and uses of woolen articles, donation of woolen articles will also be very good. Wearing silver jewelry and ornaments except in the neck area will be very beneficial. And you should try to give gifts to your family members occasionally or whenever your financial conditions or occasions allows. You should try donating to your family members. If you are having moon in, if you are having sun in the fifth house, then you should chant Gayatri Mandra. You should donate to young children, specifically females, give them gifts, etc. If you are a Brahman, Chatriya, or Vaishya, then you should make sure to have Upanayan done. All of these three uh, group categories of people can have Upanayan at the right age. You should consult your uh, family guru for this. Or any Brahman, if uh, you know, like, in the Upanayan, uh, in this Upanayan ceremony, the Brahmin after Upanayan goes on for arms, right? If the person comes to you, donate a good amount to them, which is in your pocket also and considerably good as well. Try to do that. There are many organizations who are also working towards reviving this Vedic Gurugul practices and all of these things. If possible, donate to those organizations as well. Donation and offering of red edibles, laddus, apples, etc. to ditties and needy people will also be very beneficial. You should take up a spiritual text related to your religion and should read at least one page of it every day. That will also be that will be very good for you. And whenever possible, engage into artistic activities as a hobby, or if you are having talent, then hone this particular talent. This will be very beneficial if with sun in the House. If sun is there in the sixth house, then first of all, don't be revengeful towards your enemies. Right? Try to forgive them. Try not to take things too far. With elder people, try not to have enmity with elder people. Avoid it under all cost. You should try to help wounded animals and birds in whatever capacity it is possible for you. Try to worship Hanuman, visit temples of Lord Hanuman. With sun in the sixth house, you should always keep on learning. Like some people read newspapers every day or some people, you know, have some books for leisure reading. You should be one of that person who is always engaged in, you know, learning or reading something at least one hour per day uh, should be in your practice. And whenever possible, donate clothes to your servants, house help, maid or any needy person around yourself. If you are having son in the seventh house then first of all respect your spouse don't humiliate them don't say bad words to them right never make them feel you know any lower like you know don't make them feel uh you know like about 
like if they come from a humble family background don't let them feel you know humble if they are if you are coming from a higher uh, background don't make your make them feel like there is some difference between you don't make your spouse feel like this this is the first thing discrimination based on caste creed and religion should not be in your mind at all the practices of sandhya vandanam as per your uh, tradition as per your caste creed and religion should be followed you should have a schedule for your day you should have plans for things that you are going to do right you sh- you will you should think what you are going to say and how you are going to do things and work according to plan that will be better for you never sleep in daytime specifically around evening edible items whenever possible should be donated and around evening time you should visit to temples right if you are uh, working and come from office in the evening then make sure that you first go to temple uh, first go to temple before coming home uh, this will be very good for you if there is sun in the ninth house then you should light lamp around your home or inside your home in your puja room in evening right around your home like if home is having boundary in the sides right if boundary wall is there on the sides of the home then in the western boundary wall a lamp or a candle should be burnt that should be lighted up your surroundings should not be very dark there should be no dark room in your home at least 1 2 hours after sunset all the rooms of the home should be lit up right and you know like having tinted glasses on cars etc these things should be avoided in your home in southern direction in the southern wall if you can have artifacts or artificial weapons etc hung in your southern wall then it will be very good meditation should be practiced and tratak should also be practiced tratak is you sit on the ground or sit comfortably on a chair or table and see your height now the height of the center of the eyebrow this much above from the ground two and a half three feet away from yourself you should put something on wall for concentration you should sit and concentrate on that particular object in starting concentrate till you you know till you till you concentrate till you concentrate without plucking your you know without blinking your eyes for whatever long time you can do it once you get enough practice that you can you know stare at it for 1 minutes without blinking your eyes then do this practice for 1 minute then increase it to 2 minutes 3 minutes 4 minutes 5 minutes 6 minutes as you increase it to 6 minutes you can blink your eye after 1 minute and continue it for 6 times take it to the maximum of 15 minutes right sitting at a comfortable position concentrating on something which is at the height of you know the area between your eyebrows some 2 and 1/2 3 feet away from yourself is called tratak this is a very good remedy this should be practiced feed birds help wounded animals and birds and don't sleep in the evening if you are having sun in the eighth house if you are having sun in the ninth house then you should follow spiritual tradition follow a guru follow the customs of the religion and ethics and morals of the religion that you are born in sun in the ninth house you should sit and discuss things with your elders specifically before taking any major decision sit and discuss with elders at least once in a year you should go on a pilgrimage you can take an idol of a sun generally you will see there are idols of sun where the face of the sun god is made the speciality with the sun god idol is sun god is the only god who is having a mustache only face is made this idol of sun god you should take and hang in the eastern wall of your home not outside your home inside your home and this should be at least 7 feet or above right like higher than the height of any person of the home this should be hung up and this will be a good remedy the full bodied idol of surya is not worshiped so only this face idol of surya is to be used 
Panchakshari mantra of Shiva, Om Namah Shivaya should be chanted. You can chant it for half an hour, 15 minutes without counting every day, morning, evening, afternoon. As per your convenience, that should be done. And if possible, donate clothes to the temple or to priest or to any needy person, specifically blankets. That will be very, very useful if you are having sun in the ninth house. If you are having sun in the 10th house, then in that particular scenario, you should be very careful of not committing Rajasik and Tamasik karmas, right? Rajasik karmas are when you are doing something for pure benefit, then it should be avoided doing something purely for benefit. I mean to say like in everything you do, there should be something of, you know, something that is useful for the society, right? It should not be completely self-focused, right? To younger people, you should respect younger people and should try not to engage in fights with people who are younger than you. Donate to blind people and organizations helping blind people. Right? Find your Ishta Devata. Follow your Ishta Devata. Visit the temples of your Ishta Devata. If you don't know about your Ishta Devata, then go to the place where you are born in and have patronage towards the deity of the largest, most crowd gathering temple of that particular place. Last rite of ancestors should be done. Pitru, Tarpan, etc. should be done every year in Pitru Paksh. If the ancestors are mother, father are alive, then respect them and you know, try to fulfill their wishes and desires as much as you can. Right? Disrespecting or talking bad about your family members to your friends or to anyone should be avoided under all cost for son in the 10th house. If you are having sun in the 11th house, then consumption of alcohol and non-vegetarian food should be avoided. Spending money on unethical things such as gambling, etc. should be avoided as well. To young females, give gifts and donations whenever possible. At least one tenth of your earning, you should donate either to temples or in some charity related works, you should donate. Shaving and copulation on Sankranti when sun changes from one Rashi to another should be avoided. And if possible, when sun is changing from one Rashi to another, you should do some donation and take bath in some holy river. What you can do, you can visit a holy river and take a bottle of water. If you don't live near a holy water body, then you can take a bottle of water from a holy water body such as Ganga Yamuna can store it in your home and on every Sangranti when you take bath, two, three spoonful of this water from Holy River, you should mix in your bathing water and then take a bath. For sun in the 12th house, you should donate to governmental funds. If possible, whenever possible, donate grains. Remain humble, control ego, don't disrespect or mock people because of their background. Chakshaso Panishad, that is a stotra kam mantra. Should be read once every day if you know Sanskrit. Harivansh Puran, that is genealogy of Sri Krishna, should be donated and read. One page per day, donation of one book per year should be done. Worship Sri Krishna, visit temples of Sri Krishna, Vrindavan, Mathura, Dwarka, etc. You should try to visit once in a year. It will be very beneficial for you if you are having sun in 12th house. These small remedies related to sun, as per the house your sun is placed in, you should do. Do it for one, one and a half year and then the result you will be able to see yourself in your own life. Do it. Your life will improve and I will feel the most happy about it. Thank you for watching the video.